In our last lesson, we looked at the uh, class 2 lever. Now we're going to look at a class 3 lever. In the last lesson, we saw that uh, the mechanical advantage of this of this uh, wheelbarrow, the effort force was 120 pounds, and the uh, force of resistance was 360 pounds. So we could do a ratio there. The AMA would be the force of resistance, uh, 360, divided by the force of effort, which would be 120. So if you take a calculator and you say uh, 360 divided by 120, you get an answer of 3. What does that mean? It means that there's three times more weight in the wheelbarrow than what we're having to lift. So that's a mechanical advantage of 3 colon 1, 3 to 1. So that's uh, that's huge. Same thing hap applies to the distances. If you figure out IMA, IMA is the distance of effort divided by the distance of resistance. So we know that this is the moment of effort, so we have six feet. We know that this is the moment of resistance, so we have two feet. Six divided by two is three. So we have an IMA of three, we have an AMA of three, we have an efficiency of one because uh, efficiency is equal to the AMA divided by the IMA. So if they're both the same, then it's 1. So I hope you got that question right. Now we're going to move on, and we're going to look at a third class lever, and we're going to do a simple calculation of the, the tweezers here, of how much force we need to put on to the tweezers to be able to make something happen. So in this case, we're asking if... Uh, the scissors are a total of five inches long and from the fulcrum to the force of effort is three inches long and from the fulcrum to the force of resistance is five inches long and the amount of force we're having to put into it is 0 0.02 pounds. How much force will we be applying to whatever it is we're trying to pluck out at the end of the tweezers? So I've set up the equation f of e times d of e equals, it's supposed to be an equals, <coughs> f of r times d of r. And so I've plugged in the numbers of 0 0.02 pounds times 3 inches, so that's the distance to the, from the fulcrum to the effort force equals f of r, which is what we're looking for at the end of the tweezers, times 5 inches. Where did the 5 inches come from? Students always forget to add the distances from the fulcrum all the way to the end. So remember to do that. Take the 3 and the 2 and add them together. That gives you the distance of resistance. It's not the distance from the f of e to the tip. It's from the fulcrum to the force of resistance. So then we simply uh, do our math. We have 0 0.02 times 3 divided by 5 inches. So what we need to do next is divide 5 inches from both sides of the equation. So you can see what's going to happen here. We're going to factor out all of the inches. So we'll factor out the, oops, get my line here. factor out all of the inches and all of, both fives here and we factor out the inches on the other side and we simply plug into the calculator 0 0.02 times 3 divided by 5 the answer I get is f of r is equal to 0 0.012 pounds I know it's pounds because the only one standing is right there pounds so this is a classic example of a class 3 lever where the force of effort is in the center and the force of resistance is on the outside. <coughs> so it took us more effort to put uh, in to the tweezers to get a very little bit of effort out of the tweezer. So that's how class 3 levers work. They're mechanical disadvantages. So good luck figuring out IMA and AMA.